hi welcome so in today's video i'm going to show you how i recreate a shirt i really like i saw the picture on pinterest and whoa i was like oh my god i need this in my wardrobe so i'm going to show you how i recreate the dress i use a different um color fabric yeah i don't like that nude color so i use them um, orange which is a vibrant color and like this gathering and um, pleats effects on on dresses on on clothes and shirts so you see why i decided to make this look i need the shirt in my wardrobe and oh my gosh it looks so high fashion so so nice anyway so please don't leave don't leave without subscribing subscribe to my videos i have more interesting videos i always say that yeah because i do i have more interesting sewing videos so subscribe share my videos to people you think might be interested or people you know might be interested so let's get right into making the shirt these are the materials i used first things first i traced my basic bedis block pattern if you get to do if you get to draft your basic your block patterns your sleeve your um your dress your bodice you can do so i have videos on that so you can check that out so i traced from the shoulder down to 22 inches that is where i want the shirt to stop so this is my already traced um pattern i started with the front pattern i wanted the neck to be fitted so i marked 1.5 inches for the length and curved the neck we curved the neck forget this why do i regret this in my mind reckless thoughts are feeling endless sitting the shoulder of the shirt is not the usual shoulder so i extended my back width that's my shoulder by 1.5 inches i connected the, sh the shoulder line that's the armhole line and extended it by 1.5 inches then i also we created my my slant my shoulder slant which is also 1.5 inches and created and we created my armhole curve this in my mind reckless thoughts are feeling endless sitting up on breathless anxiety is infectious i feel so defenseless betrayed and embarrassed i hate being open i hate being broken i feel like an ocean filled up with emotion anger ain't a potion rub it on like lotion i can feel it soaking reopen the scars have awoken i can't move on till i let go i feel so lost never at home need to be strong every breath hold cause i can't move on till i let go i can't move on till i let go i feel so lost never at home from the new neck length i went down two and a half inches that is for the yoke of the shirt so i connected that point to the armhole I also marked um, from the neckline down half inch this is um, to this is a seam like seam allowance to join my band because I'm going to be um, cutting out the band differently from the from the pattern so that is just to join my band to the shirt my button band to the shirt to give the gathering effect, I marked 1.5 inches all the way down to create my slash lines so I can um, slash and spread to get the gathering effect. So after this, I labeled my pattern paper. It's very important to label your pattern paper so you don't get them mixed up, especially when you're doing slash and spread. So the um the basic thing i did for this my block to create the look was to um adjust the neck the shoulder to get the yoke and the slash and spread that's four things five things yeah that's all i did so why okay yeah i before i forget i also reduced the width of the neck i marked two and a half 
inch for the width of the neck and connect at the point just simple so for the back is basically the same thing I reduced the width of the neck to 2.5 inches also extended the shoulder like I did for the front created the yoke and also the slashing spread so it's just the basic amendment is just the neck the shoulders yes the shoulders as for the front and back then creating the yoke and the gathering that's the slashing spread to get to get the gathering so that is basically it is just that easy i think the difficult part is the sewing and not creating the pattern but it's not that difficult it's easy simple easy and you get a beautiful shirt and reopen the scars have awoken i can't move on till i let go i feel so lost never at home need to be strong every breath of it's time for the sleeve i also have um for the basic buttons block pattern i also have a sleeve block there too so you can get a sleeve block so for the sleeve all i did was to mark my slash lines one inches for, um, on the um, cap height that is it because that is where we need the cadran so I just did that and label my sleeve and slash and spread so that is basically it so this is done it's time for me to cut out my pattern and also use my pattern to cut out my fabric I've got an itch I can't scratch, I'm missing a piece that completes a whole part of me, an open wound scar to see. Everybody come here, gather round, welcome to the freak show, the best in town. What the hell's wrong with me? So this is my fabric, my sewing materials, the button, yeah, I didn't get all orange, I got white and orange, and it's okay. So I just um, lay it down on the floor and cut, leaving um, my seam allowance all the way around and for the bottom i also left similar ones enough to hem the the bottom of the cut so for my slash and spread i left 1.5 inches for the bottom i also left 1.5 inches so i can hem it well so that is it i left um half an inch for the seam allowance I also notched the waist because I'll be adding um, the waist band and the belt. So these are my fabric pieces. All these together will form that beautiful shirt you saw. So the first step for sewing is to attach the yoke to the body, both the front and the back. So um, what I did was to increase my stitch length to 4 and my selector is normal. So I just ran a basin stitch on top, I hope I'm pronouncing this well. And as usual, I've done this so many times, I can do it in my sleep just to drag and and drag to make it gathers the next step after gathering the bottom part of the shirt is to attach the yoke and the and the bottom so i pinned that together and so i did this for the two front pieces and the back Peace. Anybody, honestly, I've been living in my own head constantly. Thoughts jumbled round, think I need a new lobotomy. Wait, all these thoughts are too negative. I don't want to get lost in the sedative. Gotta show them what I got. I'm competitive. You know, I'm about to go walk. I won't let them win. I'll take a stab. I want to chase a bag. I want to weigh. I can change all the things I lack. I gotta face the facts. I gotta taste in that. Got me obsessed with the rest. I got an itch to scratch. I used my overlock machine to lock the edges before sewing 
so you can so and lock uh, you can lock and sew. Okay, I finished sewing. So there's this effect on the top of the dress just like a top stitch just to keep the joining the joining in place so I did that too just run uh, my stitch line on top of the shirt So I did this for the front and the back. The next step was to attach the front and back piece by the shoulders together. So I just um, placed them on each other just like so. The, the front piece and the back piece front facing each other, just lying on each other and pin and sew the shoulders. This is done it's time for me to attach my sleeve so for the sleeve i ran a basin stitch at the top does the 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 sleeve cap i want the gathering to just be um on the yoke just like the picture so the gathering is meant to be just from the shoulder down to the yoke and not on the gathering the other side i hope you understand that so i um i have already notched my sleeve the center of my sleeve and put in the the, the join the front and back piece joining and pin all the way making sure that the gathering effect is just on the yoke of the shirt. Got the cash in the bag, stadium pack. Born a rock star in this life, gonna live it up on the attack. Baby, I'm bad. I just wanna get caught up in this life. I'm crazy, I'm mad. Doing no cap. Only God wants you better go live it up. Cash in the bag, stadium pack. Baby. I had to loosen the stitch line so it to be flat. I don't want the gathering effect, like I said, on the other side of the the top. I just wanted only on the yoke, so I had to um, use my seam reaper to rip out some stitches to make it flat. I distributed the gathering evenly on just the yoke side. I just want to stay bad, stay mad, shit by my shoulder because they treat me like an outcast. I ain't gonna take that, stay back. I'll be swinging hard till the hits come in all caps. I ain't gonna lay back. So, this is it. Looking nice. As you can see, just the gathering effect is just on the yoke side and not on the other side. So, once this is done, I sewed the sleeve to the shirt. So next is to sew 
the seams the sides together just like so so I tried my shirt on and it looks good yeah so now it's time for me to show you what I did so I made a tape for the band the belt band at the waist I cut out three inches for the width why for the length it's um, just the length of my fabric so I'm just gonna cut that in size Y sewing the band on the waist of the shirt so I made it in such a way that after ironing and folding it comes out one inch just like so why also for the belt I folded it just like so press it in such a way that it came out 3.5 and um, 3 over 4 inches sorry so there's no precise measurements it's just because I wanted to fit um, go into the band why for the neck I just there's no measurement for the neck I just wanted something small a small tape so I made a small tape so for the for the band the button band I made everything one inch one is a bit thicker and the other one is light the thick one is just to create the design the band design which you see later why the other one is just to um, attach the button the next step is to sew the band on the waist first I have to pin down the band so it doesn't move and I used the pin and then I used um, needle and thread just to hold it in place so if you notice I notched the waist so I know the um, it's the place where to the exact um, ways to place the band If you're following and you want to make things easier for you, you can use a pen or um, other um, self-disappearing pen, disappearing marker to just mark the waist so you know where to place your band. So before sewing, I fold at the end of the band and also I left 1.5 inches space so I can be able to pass in the, the, the rope, the belt and also for the band to insert the button band.
the next step was to attach my button hole band and button band so in order to do that i marked i used a pen to mark out the half inch um allowance i left there so i don't go beyond the half inch allowance so i placed the band like wear the band on the uh, on the shirt just like so pin and so close to the edge so you can see i just tried it on to see how it looks and it looks okay and it's lapping really fine so this is the what i want it to look like so this is it so i just sew like close to the edge if you don't get the edge you can you can remove the stitches and we sew or you can just leave it like that so this is it here all done so the next step is to create the design if you look closely you see that the shirt has a design so in order for me to create that buttonhole design i had to run stitches on the the buttonhole band so i used the measurements on my sewing machine over there to run the stitch line so i get a straight line Don't forget I made that band a little bit thicker so it's um, hard or thick when you touch it. So this is it. It looks really fine. So the next step was to sew the also give that effect on the belt so I just close the, the top of the belt and um, run a stitch to close the belt and also give that effect the stitches um, detailing on the belt so this is it So the next step was to insert the belt. I used um, a safety pin to insert the belt all the way down. So this is it. We're almost done. Yeah, I'm almost done. <laughs> so here we go. Looking really nice. You can wear it without dragging. You can wear it like that. And it's just nice. So the next step was to um sew the neck. So I just um attach the tape, the neck tape round, open the the tape just like so, pin round the neck and so After sewing that, I also folded the tape again, just as you can see, pin down and sew. So um, I prefer this without a collar, just like the design, I prefer it without a collar. It looks like a, um, a jacket, um, a shirt, you can use it as a jacket, you can, use it as a, as a you can wear it as a shirt. So after this, next I was to hem the bottom.
to get that ruche effect on the sleeve i want just like the design i want the ruche effect to be the same length as the um shirt so i just folded that like so and pinned where the ruche effect started from just like so so i know where to attach my elastic so i hemmed the the sleeve just like so i wrapped the elastic on my arm just to get the the measurement for the elastic why for the band that's the pocket for the elastic i just cut out the tape and um, folded it just to be the same just to be um, able to insert the elastic i hope you understand that just enough for me to insert the elastic then i placed it on the sleeve just like so and pin round and so Why sewing? I left space to insert the elastic. So if you're following, don't forget to leave space to insert your elastic. So I sewed pretty close on the edge. Okay, that is me trying it on to see how to see if it's the same length as the waist, and it is. So I sewed close to the edge on both sides. So that is it so now it's time for me to insert my elastic i used the safety pin and inserted the elastic after inserting the elastic i saw the elastic so i'll be able to push it in then close the open space next step is to create my buttonhole and insert my button so this is the final step so if you're following and you don't have a machine to create your buttonholes you can just use your needle and thread to create that um, effect of um, buttonhole i remember i used to use needle and thread to do um, my buttonholes and it comes up really well so you can do that or you can just use your um, buttonhole footer and create your buttonholes so I already have my um, length my buttonhole length my um, and the space in between because I made it just same as the design that I'm recreating just two buttonholes 
close to each other then two inch apart then two buttonholes again then two inch apart then two buttonholes so this is it right here done and it looks fabulous looks really good looks like a high-end shirt so i hope you like this video and i hope you are able to create yours too so don't forget to subscribe don't watch and leave watch and subscribe if you yet to do so like my videos thank you thank you bye bye no, stay tuned watch to the end before you leave bye let's go yeah i'm like an addict do i gotta have it I